so I'm doing a quick car <laughs> as you can see car vlog right now um, and I just wanted to know and check in with you guys because I tried the Mac Studio Fix uh, foundation and NC 45 and it like separates so when I apply it to my skin um, it just it looks really patchy my skin is not dry it's it's fully exfoliated it's never happened with any of my other foundations um, right now I have my on today. right now I have on my makeup forever uh, velvet matte foundation um, and this is I mean it applied beautifully uh, I'm I'm happy with the finish but for some reason with the Mac studio fix foundation it like separates once it gets on my skin after a couple of hours um, not even a couple of hours after like maybe 30 minutes to an hour it like settles and sinks in but until then it just looks really awkward and very uneven on my face now I've tried it with a uh, brush I've tried it with a sponge um, I've tried it with my fingers, so it's not my application tool, and it looked the same way when I got the lady to apply it at uh, Mega or at the at the Mac store, and I'm not really sure why that is. After like an hour, it like settles and it looks beautiful. But I, the thing is, of course, who wants to wait an hour for their makeup to look good? <laughs> I mean, it already takes time to apply. I want it to look good now and I want it to look good for a while. So I'm just wondering if anyone else has experienced this. If you have, let me know, please. And um, I'll put all the information in the description box below for the makeup that I'm wearing now. Um, now, in terms of skincare, I do layer my skincare underneath. I don't know if this makes a difference and if so I'm not sure why it would make a difference um, I have and what I use for my skincare underneath my foundation and I use a few products um, I use generally my moisturizer which is a La Mer moisturizer um, I use a little bit of uh, organic lemon oil which and I blend it into my moisturizer it's, it works amazing um, at keeping my skin even toned um, I use um, sometimes as well I will say that I do use it depends on the day um, sometimes as well I do use my um, Ole um, facial lotion I think it's like blue beauty fluid I think they call it um, on my face instead of my La Mer moisturizer um, I kind of like swat uh, I kind of like switch out the days depending on what I feel like my skin will absorb better that day and needs more attention that day um, now in terms of serums before I put my lotions on and my my lemon essential oil on my face I use the Laura set pore minimizer serum and I use the I think it's Rhonda I, I'd have to look at the bottle you guys I haven't saved um, the Rhonda vitamin C serum on my face as well and then after that I use my um, eye cream which I actually love you guys I get the uh, the Obagi Z-O uh, and I put that under my eyes um, just because I, I don't get anywhere near the right amount of sleep and I tend to have like a really puffy under eyes so not so much with the dark circles I do sometimes have a little bit of a dark circle but more or less it tends to be um, more or less it tends to be puffy like just right here and it like is like not not like that close like right here I and I hate it the da uh, the um Obagi I want to just call it Obagi because for years I used the Obagi skincare range but um I know that in all of the skincare spas here in uh that carried Obagi previously stopped carrying Obagi and started carrying ZO because of course they went all well, I use I'm not sure what the name of 
the eye cream is that I use but I'll link all of the information in the description box below um, but I wash my face I tend to exfoliate in the mornings um, not like a full force exfoliation you that's not great to do every day but like a, a mild exfoliation on a regular basis um, because I do use retinol at night uh, and I exfoliate my skin I take my my mo facial moisturizer um, and I tend to either use La Mer or Olay. Um, I know that those are two very different, um, two very different brands, very different price points. I will put all of the info and links and prices for all of the products that I'm talking about in this video down in the description box below. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. But I, I'm making sure that I give you the information as well just in case um, but the La Mer treat it, it feels different on my skin than the Olay does now they're both really great products in their own rights um, and I love them both because my skin is really really sensitive and neither of them irritate my skin and what I like to do is take my Laura Set Pore Minimizing Serum. I'll put that on my skin. I'll take my Vitamin C Serum by, I believe it's Rhonda. I'll I'll have all this the information linked in the description box below for all of the products mentioned in this video. Um, then I will take either my La Mer Moisturizer or my. Um, Ole moisturizer and I'll blend those like blend lemon essential oil into my moisturizer and the reason that I do that is because it tones my skin so beautifully um, and it just really gives me a nice glow naturally whether I wear makeup that day or I, I decide to not wear makeup that day because I don't wear makeup every single day um, either way it will give me a nice glow and it will tone my skin while it's doing so so once I do that then I layer on my eye cream and I like to use the eye cream by Dr. Obaji um, and actually it's it's Z-O now because <laughs> I forgot that everyone has switched over I'm in the Midwest and pretty much everyone has switched over from the Obaji line to the Z-O line so most of the skincare spas that you'll go to in the Midwest will no longer carry the traditional Obaji because Dr. Obaji himself is no longer with that company. Left Zio, I used uh, the regular Obaji line and I have used that for years. I swear by those products. I don't know how they've changed, if they've changed any of the formulas of the products or anything, but I do know that I now use the Zio range and I love it. So, um, I don't know if my skincare products have anything to do with why, I don't know if my skincare products have anything to do with why my, uh, MAC Studio Fix separates when it's on my skin. My skin feels really light. Um, my skin absorbs all of those products. None of my other makeups, uh, ever separate. Um, my Smashbox doesn't separate, my Makeup Forever doesn't separate, um, my um, La Prairie foundation does not separate, my Dior Skin does not separate. Um, the only problem that I've ever, ex the only time I've ever experienced this has been with the um, MAC. So I don't know if it's something in the formula that isn't quite mixing with my skincare. I don't know if it just doesn't like my skin. I know it's not the application. Like I said before, I've tried it with multiple different applicators. I know it's not how I'm applying it. I'm not really sure what it is. If this has happened to you guys, can you please, please let me know and let me know why you think it's happening. If you have a clue why it's happening, can you just send, shoot me a message or leave me a comment down in, down below 
Um, cause I'm really curious and I, I, it's driving me crazy, you guys. Like, I want to love it. I want to get on board with, uh, the Mac train. I know that I'm super late and everyone has for years now been hardcore Mac fans and I love Mac, like lipsticks and liners and pigments. Oh my goodness. The Mac pig pigments are amazing. But for some reason, the Mac foundation does not sit well with my skin. Thanks so much for watching. I'm sorry this video turned out to be so long. Um, I'm actually on my way to... Oh, I gotta hurry up. <laughs> I'm actually on my way to um, the post office. I had to send off a letter, and then I was gonna run into G... I want to run into GMC really quickly as well. Um, and I thought, I thought I'd just vlog really quickly. I'm actually, I'm actually in the parking lot right now. You probably can't see that. I'm actually in the parking lot right now. Um, just getting ready to go in and I wanted to stop and talk to you guys really quickly but thank you thank you thank you for all of your your help um, and I can't wait to talk to you guys again soon um, if you like this video please like com please comment if you have any uh, similar experiences or if you have please comment if you have any similar experiences or if you have any advice um, or any idea why this might be happening. Um, and as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.